All right, last video you get your views in there. We use that insert view and the projected view button. This time we're going to dimension. So I'm going to use this thing, tool right there and the shortcut is D. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to dimension from side to side and put a dimension up there. And I'm going to get this one. All right. And then let's go ahead and get this one right there. All right. That one right there. Vertically, how tall is this thing? Let's go ahead and put it on this view. We're going to put them out here. So notice I'm clicking on the top and the bottom line to get that placed. And what else do we need? We need how wide that is right there. I think we're fully dimensioned. So if I check here, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, we could build this. Beautiful. So that is fully dimensioned at this point and we're done. That was easy. So we use, again, we used our dimension tool and the shortcut. Go watch it highlight. I push D right there for dimension. Now we're ready for our next view right here. So if we click on sheets, we can go ahead and insert a new sheet. And it's just going to pop up. We don't have the full template. And you'll notice it's two out of two. It doesn't have a scale yet. So we're going to bring in a drawing and we'll find out what that is. I'm going to insert view this time and I'm going to click insert this time rather than do a part we're going to bring in that assembly that we made so I'm going to bring in the assembly and that's not the view I want I want the isometric view we want just one big isometric view on the back of this thing and the scale went to one to one and I like it we're going to put it down looks good scale went to one to one and we did it so Dimensioning, we use D, dimensioning tool, right here. And then we made a new sheet. We had this pull out right here. And then we made, inserted a new view. But this time we used assemblies and we inserted an assembly. And I got my isometric view. Whoops, brought in a view I did not want. All right, well, catch you on the next one.